Hi everyone, our journal flip through. I finished this journal which is made from paper bags that were from uh, everything that we uh, purchased online from the supermarket came with paper bags and I started just cutting them down and making a journal out of it and I'm so pleased with it I'm probably going to do another one so I believe the cover I made from um, packaging some cereal box or something on top of it there is uh, just the backing of paper napkin scrunched up so I will have lots and lots of uh, wrinkles stamped up uh, on top and some sprays and basically this is it some uh, paper beads made from leftovers uh, from jelly prints first page this is on video it's uh, I think it was paper napkin diluted uh, acrylics and some stenciling all over uh, basically this is I think uh, this is from a paper napkin that's something I printed out and basically I used some acrylic paint to match what I had lots of stamping and basically this is it another page that's on video lots of uh, all kinds of stuff in the back black and white and then the color put in and stenciling and this was drawn on tissue paper and then glued uh, on top lots this is made I've made something similar I posted it on Facebook and some asked how I've made it so I did something uh, like this and it's basically working with sponge and several colors until you reach this uh, effect and then stamped with some bronze and played with the colors this one also on video it's a torn paper in the back my full a handmade paper torn and then I had a lot of textures and I wanted a, something on top of it and because there is a lot of texture I've showed you how to stencil on top of the backing of paper napkins and then glue it down so it seems like you've stenciled on top of directly on top of what you've got on only now it works and what couldn't work if it was directly on all the texture lots and lots of jelly prints I had I just tore them down and made this a uh, abstract a uh, landscape and went with a gold uh, marker and around all the pieces uh, here the gold uh, marker and here I had and here some metallic other marker one blue one green just had fun with it and this I've just added with a brush and some paint some acrylic paint another page that is on the video some paper scraps in the back some uh, some texture with modeling paste and stencils this is a printout from uh, I think it was Pixbay and some stenciling of the uh, kingfisher bird basically this is it okay what have I done here <laughs> uh, just acrylic paint in the back from light to dark a, a lot of stenciling here of a lot of details and the fairies I had some stencil only I didn't like the the wings so I just made the wings and and colored them with felt pens that's it this is on video uh, lots of blues in the back lots of stenciling all this um, like seaweeds are stenciled and all this is stenciled and mar making marks with bottle lids and all kinds of stuff and I had this image from some packaging and I just added a little bit more 
color and stenciling so to incorporate it uh, into the page another page on video so you can check it out just picked some uh, magenta and this uh, teal smeared it <laughs> all <laughs> on the page let it a little bit blend together stenciled with white added a lot of uh, stamping with black here uh, to the edges and this and this is just stenciled with black this is also on video and uh, a lot of sponge work in the back and this is stenciled and all this is stenciled what have I done here I don't remember <laughs> it was a long time ago it started with with this image that was from a coloring book that I just colored and felt it doesn't need to stay in the coloring book so I made this page for it lots of blue in the back and all the seaweeds again just played with it some like in the back of the fish some in the front so it looks more uh, in sync with the rest of the stuff this also uh, on a video i took a magazine image with some tissue paper and done the outlines and all this is stencil basically this is it uh, some uh, stenciling was here and it was more like masks than stencils when the image is not the one that you are doing uh, only the rest of it so I started with a really dark color in the back and then stenciled with white and some peach color and some magenta just let it all uh, mix together had fun with it okay <laughs> some whimsy a uh, page lots of red in the back not a lot of variation in the color a little bit darker towards the edges and I just stenciled all of it and played with some markers to give it more definition and when it was finished I just glued down this uh, this ladybugs that I had they had the sticker back and I just glued them to the page okay a blue and purple in the back lots of stenciling and this is also a stencil and I took a piece of from a coloring book this was the the color was made with distress inks by Tim Holtz so I had it uh, from yellow to red here and just made some splattering all over so this is it that's my journal uh, I hope you liked it I hope it gave you some ideas and that you can use anything to make a journal so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now